I'm pretty sure the guys on the bench will get their chance sooner or later. So uh, at the moment we haven't decided yet what we're going to play tomorrow. But um, after today's match, uh, we'll, we'll have a good, good thought about it. Roto, uh, do you have any plan to make some changes uh, in the next match uh, tomorrow, man? Uh, according to the conditions of Multan International Cricket Stadium against Multan Sultan. Yeah, no, I think tonight we'll we'll discuss and see what's our best uh, best uh, eleven versus Multan tomorrow. Um, ideally, we don't want to change the team too much. We've been winning with this team, and uh, everyone's got a lot of confidence. But it is a long tournament, and uh, I'm pretty sure the guys on the bench will get their chance sooner or later. So uh, at the moment, we haven't decided yet what we're going to play tomorrow, but. Um, after today's match, uh, we'll, we'll have a good, good thought about it. Yeah. Uh, Quetta Gladiator, so what did you say about uh, last season, Multan uh, uh, Sultan and Gladiator's uh, matches? And what is the next strategy for the match? Um, yeah, I think the strategy is pretty simple. We're going to do everything that we can to win the game. Um, we do know some of the stats on this ground that it's probably the ground that's got the most odd balls in Pakistan. So it's something that we can probably like look at and hopefully uh, counter with the bat to just make sure that we're scoring a, a, a run off every single ball and uh, sending it up deep for the for the end. Dominic, a big way, a big way. Last time you play for Multan Sultan, you are well aware of uh, Multan Cricket Stadium atmosphere, pitch, uh, crowd. How was the strategy for tomorrow match? Yeah, I think I just answered that, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, it's good to be back at Multan. Uh, the ground is is one that I'm friendly with, and uh, I've enjoyed the enjoyed run, scoring runs at this side. So uh, very comfortable, yeah, at the ground. Uh, but tomorrow's not about me. Tomorrow's about uh, Quetta Gladiators versus Multan. So we just got to put in a good team performance tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we come out on top. I think I think by also after four year uh, Quetta Gladiator continue for three winning uh, for your captaincy. So, uh, what about your uh, Quetta Gladiator? Yeah, I think um, a lot of credit has to go to the team. I mean, everyone has chipped in and played well. Uh, to get three from three in Lahore was was something that we aimed for, and uh, and we were very happy that we did get three from three. Uh, but tomorrow is a new game when we start from zero from zero, and we got to start from ball one, and it all starts over again. So our process in that department has to carry on and uh, just believe in what we do and uh, believe in the trust the process. Uh, really, in PSL 5, when you came here in, uh, in a Multan uh, team uh, from Koita Gladiator, and you scored a ton against Koita uh, at that time uh, for play, playing for Multan Sultan. So, what are the plans? And now you are again in Koita team and you are going to play uh, against Multan, uh, your previous club. So, uh, what are the plans? So let's hope I score 100 tomorrow versus Multan. <laughs> no, look, um, like I've said many a time, it's it's about a process and just trusting ball for ball. I don't think the wicket this year in Multan is as good as it was used as, as it used to be in the last couple of years. So we're going to have to assess the, the conditions of the wicket quickly and then uh, play accordingly. What do you, Abdul, Abdul Basi here? My question is uh, regarding Muhammad Amir. How do you rate him and his bowling in this PSL? Yeah, I think. Uh, I think. Uh, um, Muhammad Amir has, has, has been bowling exceptionally well. I mean, he's a world-class player. He's, he's been performing throughout the leagues on, on many different continents. And he's, he's very well at home here in Pakistan and he's, and he's been doing really well. He's leading our bowling, bowling attack and uh, hopefully tomorrow he can go strong again and, and lead it for us once again. Uh, Riley, you see the wicket of Multan, Multan Stadium. What do you expect tomorrow match about high scoring or low scoring? 200 cross or not? No, well, I think we just got to assess the conditions very, very early. I, I'm not too sure how it's going to play. Uh, like I said, I think in Multan it hasn't been as good as it has been over the last couple of years. So it's all about assessing the condition as, as soon as possible and uh, putting up a very competitive total. Last question, G. Really? Last match, Shadab take a review against you. But Shadab is claiming this is not good, this is technology fault. What do you say about technology? Yeah, I think um, unfortunately for, for Islamabad, I think the technology did let him down. But looking at the at the footage again, I think the ball still did hit me outside off. Um, so I think the right decision was made at the end of the day, but um, it wasn't shown as the right ball of the technology. But if you go review and look at the footage again, it does hit me outside off. So I don't think it changes the decision. It was just um, unfortunate that the technology at the time wasn't uh, correct. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.